is Brittany from Just Be Crafty, and today I'm going to demonstrate the crochet coffee cozy pattern. And this is what you'll end up with, this cute little crochet coffee cozy with a wooden button. So to get started, what you'll need is some worsted weight acrylic yarn. This is Vanna's Choice brand. Some scissors, millimeter crochet hook, a sewing needle, a yarn needle, embroidery floss and a coordinating color, a wooden button, and a stitch marker. I offer the pattern for free on my blog, justbecrafty.com, and I also have um, a printable version that I sell on Etsy, and I'll link both options below in the description box. And without further ado, let's get started. So we'll begin with a slip knot and chaining 27. So that's one, two, three, four, and so on. And if you need help with chaining, I have a video tutorial on how to chain and I will link that in the description box below. So just keep chaining. Whoops. Okay, so now we have 27 chains and what we're going to do is we're going to join in the round with a slip stitch. So what you'll do is, this is the last chain you made, and down here is the first chain you made. So what we'll do is you'll insert your hook into that first chain, and then you'll just yarn over with the working yarn, pull it through that chain, and then pull it through the loop on your hook. And there we go. Now we've joined the piece in the round. So one thing you want to make sure of is that these stitches aren't twisted or otherwise your work will end up twisted. So just make sure that it's straight and all the chains are facing the same way all the way around, just like this. If your chains are twisted, no worries. Just undo the slip stitch and do it again. So to begin round one, we're going to chain two. And starting in the same stitch as the chain two, half double crochet. So what that means is, see this where we just did the chain? Here, see that little hole right there? That's where we're starting our half double crochet. And so a half double crochet is, is you yarn over, then insert the hook into the stitch, grab your yarn, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook that's a half double crochet. So we're going to do that all the way around in each chain. So I'll show you again. We're going to yarn over, enter into the next chain, grab the yarn, pull it through. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. There's your second half double crochet. I'll show you again. So we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around in each chain. We should have 27 half double crochets by the time we get to the end. Go ahead, pause the video, and do your half double crochets and meet me back, back up at the end. Okay, you should, be almost, you should be at the end of the round, and just in case you have any question, the last, the 27th stitch will be right here, and it'll kind of, it'll look like that. So you'll, Put it into the last 27th stitch or chain. And there we go. We have 27 half double crochets in our round. For this pattern, we won't be joining our rounds. We'll just be continuously crocheting around and around in a spiral. Um, the reason I do that is because I didn't want the project to have a seam in the back. I just wanted it to be one continuous sleeve. So to keep track of your rounds, you'll want to place a stitch marker in the last stitch of your round. Like that. See? So now I know where my last stitch is. 
So now for rounds two through eight, we're just going to half double crochet. This is the first stitch of the second round. Just half double crochet. And again, the half double crochet is you yarn over, enter your hook into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through, and there's your half double crochet. So if you want to pause the video and work your half double crochets in each stitch, and then meet me back up at the end of the round. Okay. So now I'm at the second to last stitch of the round. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stitch marker out of that stitch, put it down and then half double crochet in that last stitch. And then I'm going to put that marker back to mark. So I know that that's the last stitch. So you're just going to keep doing this for each of the next couple rounds. So if you want to pause the video and meet me back up at the end of round eight, um, you can finish the project. Okay, so we just finished the eighth round of the cozy. Got your stitch marker. And you may have noticed that um, it looks like there's like a little bit of a step here. So to help even out your work a little bit, what you can do is, is put do a slip stitch in the next couple stitches to kind of even out this line so that way it doesn't look so that way it just doesn't look lopsided. To do a slip stitch what you'll do is you'll insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through the loop on your hook and then just do that one more time. So put your hook into the next stitch Grab your working yarn, pull it through the stitch, and then pull it through the loop on your hook. And then, and that kind of helps to just even out that line a little bit. So now we can pull out our hook, cut the yarn, and then just secure it. See, now we have the makings of our cozy. So now we'll just take our yarn needle and just weave in these ends. So now we'll just weave in our ends. What I like to do, I'll probably turn the work inside out and then weave them in that way as inconspicuously as possible. Try to make it look like you can't really tell that you're weaving it in. Once you feel confident that your ends are weaved in pretty well, then you can just go ahead and cut it and then move on to your next one. All we have left is to sew the button on. So we want to take our sewing needle, embroidery floss, and wooden button. You don't need a piece that too big, but I don't know, probably about a foot and a half. Maybe, yeah, that's probably about a foot and a half of embroidery floss. And then thread your needle. And then I'll just knot it at the end. And then 
just place your button where you'd like to put it. And just stitch it on. So to help secure it on the back side where I do that knot, I, I do, where I do that knot, see there's like a little um, loop, I didn't pull it all the way through. I'll stick my needle through there and then I'll pull it tight and that way that kind of just, that just secures it a little bit, a little bit better. And so now I'll go the other way. I'll probably go the other way one more time. And I'll go this way one more time. So with the button sewed on, now on the other side, just to secure it, kind of just slip it through a loop of the yarn. Kind of knot it a little bit the best I can. And then I'll weave it in a little bit. And then cut it. And there we have it. There's our crochet coffee cup cozy. And so this will fit on any standard Starbucks cup, like tall, grande, venti, or small, medium, or large. Um, this should fit on all the cups. So there you have your coffee cup cozy. If you found the tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye.